this took a long time to set up, not because it's particularly complicated, but because all the guys in the production team were saying, oh, I had one of those, oh, mine was missing this, mine was missing <laughs> yeah. that. So, yeah. you know, you have got a yeah. team of, of fans out yeah. there behind the cameras who just love these. So Good. we're looking at a great collection of action man. This is part of it, yeah. This is part of it. He says, I couldn't bring it all. Mm. What got you started? We had them as kids. I've got three brothers, and uh, we all had uh, action men. This is what we played with when we were kids, you know. And our friends, we all played with this. And uh, I'd totally forgotten about them. And then um, I'm a builder, and uh, clearing out an old attic, I found one. And uh, that was it. When I picked it up and held it in my hand, that was it. I was that big again. <laughs> It all came flooding back to you. Yeah, it did, yeah. Let's just rewind and talk about the, the start of Action Man, because in 64, Hasbro created and launched G.I. Joe, mm -hmm. which was an action figure, and in 66, Palitoy got the license from Hasbro to create Action Man, and very clever name. Mm. You know, G.I. Joe really focused it almost entirely into the military, whereas Action Man he could be anything. He could be a soldier, yes. he could be an adventurer, he could be a spaceman, he Absolutely. could be anything. Yeah. So yeah. that was pretty clever. And of course, you are not allowed to call these dolls, are you? No, you can't say the D word. <laughs> no, no, they're figures. They're figures, they're action figures. figures. Yes. So they started in 66, and the classic action man figure from 66, we all know it, painted hair, mm. the scar yes. on his cheekbone. Scar was a trademark to stop people copying. Very yeah. clever. Mm. And then later on, as the years unfolded, he got fuzzy hair, mm -hmm. they had poseable hands, and mm. of course the great thing is that they came with all these accessories. Oh yeah. I think this was 1976, wasn't it, when yeah. Eagle Eyes came in. I'm gonna pick up Eagle Eyes because mm -hmm. I love this toy. <laughs> because he does exactly what you expect him to do. Yeah. Yeah. He looks, yeah. he can look round corners. So that was a great invention. And I'm, I guess if you had an eagle eyes, you kind of weren't happy to have one without. When you mention Action Man, everyone usually says, oh, eagle eyes, straight away. Exactly, it became a sort of synonymous with mm. it. Now, how were they selling Palatoy? Well, they were in every high street, but of course they would also go to toy shows. And I think what we've got here, this great heavy-duty, reinforced cornered wooden mm -hmm. box, is exactly what somebody from Palatoy would have taken oh, good. to a toy show yeah. to show the product. Here you've got these early painted-headed action men in here, all slotted into their right places. I only know of one other. Now, when it comes to um, valuing action men, condition, of course, is of oh. paramount. Condition is everything, yeah. Now you can pick up a average action man figure for 30, 40 pounds. Yeah. The better ones, particularly if they're in their boxes, mm -hmm. we're talking about 150-ish. Yes. And then you get on to the different sort of strata. We've got a couple here. Uh, one is this figure. Where did you get it from? I saw that in a box at a toy fair. I knew what it was as soon as I saw it, but uh, the dealer didn't. At, and at what's all. its title? Uh, Space Explorer. And yeah. did it have all its bits with it? No, no, I had to find uh, the backpack and uh, the flight line and also the pickup arm. I had to find those three things to complete it. What did you pay for it? I paid ten pound. <laughs> yeah, Very good. I paid ten pound. And now, if you wanted to replace it, you'd be paying how much? You'd be looking at uh, between two, two hundred and fifty and three hundred pounds for Amazing. that. Amazing. A collector would pay that. Yeah. The case here slightly difficult to value this because it, it, they don't appear at auction. There's only another another one known, there are only two of them, yeah. uh, which doesn't necessarily make them that desirable, but I think we're talking about certainly not less than 500 for that. Great. It is a fabulous field of collecting, mm. and it's great to have your enthusiasm, and thanks for sharing it with us today. Thank you very much.